The stock market. I'm so tired of hearing of this bull crap. Ever since 2008 when they had that recession, Fox News and other networks would always have a Dow watch. It was kind of like their breaking news for the day if it went down over 100 points. They'd ring that breaking news bell. Fox News alert! The Dow just dropped 480 points or whatever it was. Who gives a rip? It's gonna shoot back up there tomorrow because it freaking fluctuates. I am so tired of seeing these news stories where the stock market drops a few hundred points and it's like front page news. That's the telltale sign of a slow news day right there when all they got to cover is the freaking stock market. You ever see those pictures where they show the guy all distressed in the stock market like he's having a panic attack because it's, you know, it dropped a few hundred points? That is so cliche. These type of pictures right here, they always post this. And we've been seeing this crap for the past 20 years and it is so annoying. So here's a super big secret about the stock market. It fluctuates. It goes up and then it goes down. If it has a day of loss, likely the next day it's going to have a big gain. It goes up and it goes down. It fluctuates. I mean, if it really went up for a solid 40 years, that would be way too good to be true. Everybody would be getting in on the stock market. Honestly though, I root for the stock market to go down. That's right, I want it to freaking crash. I, I mean, I don't have a dog in the stock markets. I honestly want to see these fat and bald guys lose their jobs or take like a big massive pay cut because the stock market screwed up. I mean, that would be pretty funny, right? These rich, fat, bald dudes, they lose their houses, they lose their trophy wives because the stock market crashed. I mean, that would be kind of cool, right? Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, but, but the stock market is connected to everything. It reflects the economy. Yeah, oh well. We are due for a collapse, so bring it on. It would almost be worth it to see these fat cat millionaires have to get a real job, you know? No more punching in numbers for a living and making a million dollars a year. I mean, could you imagine these stock market fat and bald dudes having to go work a real job? A blue collar job? They wouldn't last. They'd be freaking divorced. They'd lose their trophy wife. They wouldn't know how to handle like actually working with their hands because they're so used to crunching numbers and going to college. Oh, I got a good education. Yeah, whatever. When the stock market's no longer a thing, what the freak are these fat cats gonna do? But in reality, the stock market is actually modern day slavery. Really, all these pieces of trash that own stocks and crunch numbers all day and collect a paycheck do literally nothing. While all the people that don't own stocks are slaving away for a company, putting their blood, sweat, and tears on the line to make the company more profitable by the means of physical labor. They don't earn jack. They probably earn minimum wage. While these people that own stocks and they own like 4.5% of the company are getting a dividend check every freaking month for doing jack. Seriously though, these news stories that pop up all the time on all these websites, the same stereotypical generic picture of the fat old bald dude in distress in the stock market in panic mode because the Dow lost 1.3% in one day. I mean, aren't you tired of these stupid stories already? Do most common average folk give a crap about the stock market? Well, maybe. If they have a retirement account, they might. But aside from that, most middle class hardworking Americans don't have a dog in the stock market fight. Let these stupid nerds lose their fortune. I really want to see how they'd survive without their stupid beloved stock market. I mean, like, we all have bad days at work. Why can't these fat, rich, and bald suckers have a bad day every once in a while? The stock market dropping 500 points is basically the equivalent of a rich person's bad day at work. You know, God forbid if he lost one or two thousand dollars a day because he has a billion invested. It's not going to make a difference to him because he's so freaking rich. It's like seriously 95% good days for these doofs. They profit like every day, but the 5% of days where they lose money, oh god, everybody loses their crap, especially Fox News and Yahoo and CNN. It's like, I don't give a flying F if some multi-millionaire lost 1% of his net worth in a month. I mean, he's not even going to feel it. But the middle class people like me and you, 1% and we feel that crap. I mean, like the mainstream media, they want us to feel bad for these dudes because they own stocks. All these fat and bald dudes, right? The only reason why the mainstream media makes this news is because the mainstream media owners 
own stocks, like lots of them. And I get it, the stock market impacts the economy and all that crap, but let's see these suckers flip out for a few days. That's entertainment right there. Let them flip.